Yes. First, welcome back, Mobility Wad. Matt Chan in the house. Sheree on the on the video. We're going to talk about a few things. This is very un leopard like, and I want to just. This is going to initiate our conversation because it just caught Maddie in this position. And this is what one. Of, what is that? What is that thing? Is that, that actually thing? is a bone. That's that's C seven T one poking out his back. Now, what's cool? about putting all this connective tissue on stress like this is that your body will freak out eventually and start to lay down a bunch of fat right here and you'll get this thing called a camel hump. It's totally dope because his body is going to try to pull his He's neck back into that. line. Does not now. Watch. You put a bunch of fat here. Now put, try to put your head forward. Go ahead and put your head forward. You can't. Ah, it's a problem solved. So check this out. This is going to initiate this conversation because one of the things that we're working on with Matt is just improving his triple extension position. And what we see a lot in our athletes who are spending a lot of time in, in pulling is that this connective tissue down here, this big thoracal dorsal fascia, this big sheet of connective tissue into which the lats are tense, the rhomboids, the traps bulk it up, the transverse pulls into it, right, his glutes insert onto it, it gets really, really ropey and stiff. His QL, right, quadrace laborum, attaches here, runs down, acts like a big, big uh, rod in the middle of his back. Now, if we know that this gets short, but it's, it's part of the story, because it's, it's part of that thoracal dorsal fascia component. On your back for a second, Matty. You can see as he dismounts where, where he was. So here's the deal. That in the front of the, the system is that the psoas, which we know tends to get tight on our athletes, is directly connected via this, this uh, common fascia to that cue on the back. Now, my friend Jill Miller talks about this the most, and she's really nailed this in terms of treatment. So this is one of her models. We've talked about gut smashing before, but I want to show you her technique to get into the QL, which I think is fantastic, and it gets off. Now, if you come sit up for us, if you come sit up, is that in this position, if you come back here, and Brian, will you verify for this for me? Come over here. We're trying to figure out what bone this is right here. What bone is that? Is that, dude, it's the mat bone. I don't even know what that is. That is so tight. And like it's a drum like tightness. Now, he should, go and reach back there. You should be able to get your hands in and around this tissue. And can you? Can you feel the palpate? Because I can get my hands deep into that tissue back here. But if you're flexing your back, it's different. But I should be able to get my hands deep in and palpate around there. Because I need to be able to be supple and strong and yet suddenly soft, right? I need to be able to kind of jump back and forth. And you can see that he's really, really rock hard back here. It, it's very, very stiff. So, here's our technique. We're going to take two uh, at bats, we'll flip it over. Jill uses a yoga block, which is great if you have one. And then certainly a soft ball will work. But what's going to happen is that we're going to try to get him on this into a little bit of his body extension, global extension. And he's going to come in the side and try to peel this off from the side so that we can affect some of this, the connective tissue fascia, but also to try to get into that QL. Because we know if it's like beef jerky, it's not going to move well. So go ahead and jump into the position. That makes the same sound. Weird. Knock it on that I know, but, but Matt's actually a better athlete. Yes, Matt, Matt okay. better. So, what we're looking at is, is, hey, and one of the reasons this comes up is that we have athletes who are traveling and coaching, spend time in cars, and also on the airplane, and it's just easy to get trailers. You get Or trailer, living the trailer life. But you can spend a ton of time in this position pulling, which is where we make our living, and all of a sudden this tissue gets a little bit stiff. And it's one of the, the factors. So our model is if I'm short here, I'm looking at feeding slack to this system so I can normalize some of those mechanics. So he's coming to the side. Notice, we're trying also, via Jill Miller, to make sure that we're breathing the entire time. So he's not holding his breath. He's just going to sink in side to side. You bend his knees up a little bit, bend that knee up, and you can even rotate onto your, on, let the hips fall over. There you go. Then that you can both they can go both go together. So both bend these up and, that. and then now he's just added a little torsion to it and he's just sneaking from the side. What does that feel like? Feels like I'm tearing my record. Head on earth. Hey, hey! Feels like a little bit of heaven. And the issue is, hey, this is part of that schema. If I'm having a low back pain, let's look at those tissues directly affected. That psoas is on one side. The QLs on the other side, they share these same common tendon walls or common uh, fascial walls. They're both matted up against the, the back. They should be looking at tissues that are directly impacting the quality of that spinal stabilization and position because it gets expensive. Matt Chan, you're the man. See you guys.